And so set your goals big enough to where you know there's gonna be some micro failures along the way. Set your goals big enough to where you know it's not all going to work out, to where every single person is not going to say yes, where every single phone call is not going to go perfectly, because it's going to put you in some uncomfortable situations. It's going to put you in the face of, of uncertainty, in the face of objections and rejection, to where you can get better. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. That's right, Sales Wolves podcast. This is episode 142. And today we're gonna talk about something that is near and dear to my heart, but probably something that a lot of you fear and that is failure. And specifically, we're going to talk about micro failures. A lot of you, I believe, look at all failures as equal, micro, macro, big, small. But it is in the micro failures that we ultimately figure out who we are, figure out our strength, figure out our areas of weakness, areas that need to be strengthened. And it is in those micro failures that we're given the opportunity to ultimately grow. And so at the basis of understanding what micro failures look like, we have to start with the environment that we're putting ourselves in on a daily basis. So the question is, what are you doing on a daily basis to put yourself in a position to fail. And that may seem counterintuitive, right? Yeah, I I don't wanna put myself in a position to fail, but the way I would look at it is, am I chasing after big goals? Am I putting myself in uncomfortable positions? Am I searching for huge opportunities where failure will be not only probable, probable, uh, probable, not only probable, but imminent, like, like that, that it may be impossible to do the things that you're going after without micro failures along the way. And see micro failures, they really aren't failures at all. They're just opportunities to learn. There are opportunities to grow. There are opportunities to get better. There are opportunities to discover those areas in your life that you need to improve upon. There are opportunities to figure out what are the, what are the little nuances? What are the, the, the soft skills that I need to work on? What are the, the objections that I need to work on overcoming? What are the areas in my life that I need to get better at in order to achieve the macro successes that I want? And so they're just, they're lessons. And they are the true training ground to prepare you for the success that you ultimately want in life. So let's take an example. This is a sales podcast in its nature. And so making sales calls, let's say making cold calls, and let's specifically say making cold calls over the phone. If today I decided, hey, I'm going to make I'm going to make 25 calls and I'm going to set five meetings. Doesn't seem so bad. I could probably do that. I could probably knock that out in a matter of an hour. But what if I was to say today I was going to make 100 phone calls and I was going to set 20 meetings? That's a different story. And in those 100 phone calls, I guarantee you, I will experience some adversity. In those 100 phone calls, I'm going to experience some rejection. And those rejections 
can be looked at as micro failures. But at the end of the day, at the end of making a hundred phone calls and whether I hit 20, whether I set 20 meetings or I set 18 or I set maybe 22, I will succeed by having gone through those micro failures, having learned those micro lessons along the way. And so what I see salespeople do uh, across the board, whatever industry that you're in, is I see goals set out and objectives set that are easily attainable, that are easy to accomplish. And, you know, there's an element of that that makes sense. Like I want to build momentum. I want to have success, which will then create more success and will create more success. But I would beg to say that it's actually in the small failures that you will lead to large success. And so set your goals big enough to where you know there's gonna be some micro failures along the way. Set your goals big enough to where you know it's not all gonna work out, to where every single person is not gonna say yes, where every single phone call is not gonna go perfectly because it's gonna put you in some uncomfortable situations. It's gonna put you in the face of, of uncertainty, in the face of objections and rejection to where you can get better and you can grow, and you can learn how to face different circumstances. If you continue to play small, then you're gonna continue to have small wins. But I think the goal is to have some big wins in our life. And isn't it interesting that in order to get those big wins, you're gonna have to experience small failures along the way. I'm certainly not saying that you need to experience massive failures. Oh, they have their own place too, but massive failures are going to sit you back a little bit. They're going to, they're going to knock you down and they're going to take some time to recover from. But even as I'm saying that it, it makes sense to me that that's why the micro failures are so important because the more micro failures I can experience and learn from, I'd beg to say the less macro failures, the less big setbacks that I'm going to incur and experience. And so my question to you, my challenge to you guys on today's podcast, episode 142 is, are you setting big enough goals? Are you setting out to, to achieve in a day things that are going to take obstacles to get past that are going to take failures to overcome in order to get there. And if not, then how can you start reframing your days, reframing your goals with the expectation of failure? And that's really what we're talking about here. It's about setting goals with the expectation of failures along the way, because we all know when you expect something, then it, doesn't come by surprise when it happens. When you expect something, you're not caught off guard when it happens. So if you can go into these circumstances expecting to face obstacles, then you'll be that much prepared when they come. But the only way that you can be prepared is by having experienced them in the first place. So when I go to make a hundred calls tomorrow, I'm expecting obstacles. I'm expecting rejection. I'm expecting objections. I'm expecting to get caught off guard, but because I made the hundred phone calls today, I now know a little bit more of what to expect. I can now handle those objections a little bit better because of the ones that I experienced today. And that's how you get better. That's how you grow. That's how you create real momentum. And that's ultimately how you'll achieve massive, massive success. The road to success is not a straight and smooth ride. The road to success is uphill. It's downhill. It's over bumps in the road and obstacles and uncertainty. And by creating that uncertainty, by creating those opportunities to fail, 
then you're preparing yourself for massive, massive, massive success. This is episode 142 of the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!